So the, the role of our team, I'm the head of the team, but there's a team of four other people that are working with me, is to act as the eyes and ears for BC Transit on the site. So the site is um, under permit to the Ministry of Environment and DFO for the work that we're doing on site. So we need to make sure that we meet all the permit requirements, including those of the town of View Royal. So as part of that, we have uh, what's called a construction environmental management plan that is for the whole entire site. And then this particular project is in two phases. So each phase has a different contractor and each one of those contractors has their own environmental protection plan. Each of those contractors also has their own environmental monitor. So it's the role of the environmental monitor for the contractor to implement that environmental protection plan. And that's everything from erosion and sediment control to tree protection to wildlife protection on site, protection of the water courses. And then the role that my team has is to oversee all of that. So really our job is just to make sure that they're doing their job and that the environment is protected. And we report directly to BC Transit. So we, if there's, we see a problem on the site, we report to the contractors, but then we also immediately let BC Transit know what's going on. We also do just routine weekly monitoring. So every week somebody is out on site, rain or shine. And then if it's a day like today when it's pouring down rain, if we get more than 10 millimeters of rain, then we're required to also come on site and do an extra check. And it can, if it rains 10 millimeters every day in a week, we come out every day in a week. So really our job is just to be the independent eyes and ears and to make sure that everything's going according to plan and that the BC Transit's in compliance with all its permits and in compliance with all of its commitments to the community. On this site we have essentially four water courses, three major ones. So the first one is immediately in front of me. This is water course two. So this drains all of the upper watershed and comes under a culvert under Burnside Road and then right down through the middle of the site and then flows behind me down toward Craigflower Creek. So Craigflower Creek is a major salmon bearing stream in the CRD. It's one of the few salmon bearing streams that we have left. It also has a lot of trout in it. So Craigflower Creek is the feature that we're really trying to protect. And by extension we want to protect Watercourse 2 which flows directly into it and we also want to protect the little tiny water course three which is up along the Galloping Goose Trail because that also feeds into Craig Flower. We have a fourth water course on site which isn't actually directly connected to the creek. It's called water course one and it's adjacent to the highway. It was built during the Vancouver Island Highway project but we do, do need to know what's going on there in case the, it does overflow into the creek but also because it can act as amphibian habitat. So those are the water features we're trying to protect. Um, in the top corner of the site over here, we also have a very large Gary Oak tree, which has tree protection fencing around it. And then we have other, um, you know, other trees and things on site that we don't, we don't want to damage. We also need to be aware of the bird habitat. So one of the things we've done recently in advance of the bird window is that we did a little bit of brush trimming and clearing just so that the birds wouldn't start nesting in there because we don't want to disturb the birds once they've started to nest. The other things that we look for are things like, um, you know, just general spill management, protecting the soils. We try to make sure that there's no tracking off the site onto the, onto the city streets because that can cause, you know, problems for vehicles. We don't want rocks hitting windshields. We don't want cyclists um, being inconvenienced or injured in the bike lanes if there's material in the bike lanes. But we also don't want that material washing off and going into catch basins, which ultimately is going to go into the storm drain system and then down into the creek. So we're watching for all of that. And then there's other incidental things like managing for wildlife, making sure the garbage is managed so we don't attract wildlife, you know, raccoons and that sort of thing. Make sure that, you know, we don't have any deer inadvertently on the site. I did see raccoon tracks the other day, but just generally looking out for the welfare of all the, all the critters on the site.